taken in a way I would never have dreamt possible. I said no. He took it anyways. Rape was my first sexual experience. One abuser, two onlookers, and one traumatic memory that forever changed my life. I was 15 years old, and that's when my innocence and curiosity for sexuality crushed into a million pieces. I felt ashamed, I felt guilty, and I felt so disgusting, I wanted to wash my skin off with bleach. My fear of men and anger was so strong that I would dominate every interaction with fierce conviction to prove I will get you before you'll ever be able to take me. This lasted 14 years of my life. I was exhausted. God, I am so tired, and I have no idea who I am anymore. Please, show me. I couldn't live as a prisoner in my body anymore. I was so disconnected from my sensuality, I felt cold and dead inside. And that's when I found Tantra, a course merging both sexuality and spirituality through mindfulness, meditation, and breath work. <laughs> I was nervous, to say the least, but I took that first step. I was ready to heal and surrender and reconnect to my body. Four days up north on a beautiful resort. It's fall, the leaves are all kinds of colors, and I'm learning about some of the most intimate ways of life. It was healing. On the last night of the course, we were partnered up for what was supposed to be an exercise in connection and trust. My intuition was telling me something wasn't quite right, but I kept being told, let go of control. This is why I'm here, right? And I ignored those feelings in my stomach. And then I feel his hand go up my skirt and the other underneath my top. I was paralyzed, taken again. For the next four days, I spiraled into a fit of rage and disbelief. Why? Why me? Why is this happening again? How could I not have protected myself? I should have listened. Tears and confusion and shame, I could barely breathe. I felt so paralyzed and yet so violated. How dare he? And then something inside of me cracked, and I did something I never knew I could. I didn't call the police, no. Instead, I did a search and made a call. It's Jessica, and I forgive you. Hyperventilating cries poured out of him as he managed to pull over his car, telling me, call the police, because he doesn't know how to live anymore with what he's done. I let him know that what he did impacted me, how it tormented and triggered me. And then I listened. Learning his story did not justify his disgusting actions, but it did allow me to see him as a human being. For 14 years of my life, I lived victimized. I knew I needed to do something different. I knew for myself I needed to do differently. So this time, I chose to stand for a transformation in sexual trauma, and I asked him to register for a program that would support him in healing. He accepted. I was invited to the completion night of his program where I'd be seeing him again for the first time. He stood up in front of hundreds and delivered in detail everything that had happened and then asked me to stand up so he could introduce me, not just as the woman that he had assaulted, but also as the woman that had introduced healing into his life and brought him to this place of ownership. My life, his life, and the lives in that room were forever changed. The roar of tears and screams was evidence of the creation of possibility. 
Acts of <laughs> sexual trauma and rape are horrific violations, and those experiences are not who I am. And if you have ever gone through anything like this before, they are not who you are either. They do not define us. We are not our trauma. We are who we choose to be. I am love, love for women. And I stand here with fierce conviction, knowing with all of my heart that I am love for men as well. I chose to lean into my courage and I found forgiveness, not just for him, for me. Thank you.